the highly respected Australian actress who gave away her profession to concentrate on her true passion, the environment. Please welcome our first guest this morning as the circle goes green, the spokesperson for Planet Ark, Rebecca Gilling. Woo! Welcome to the circle couch, Rebecca. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Now we've seen you on our screens and television through acting and performing since 1973 but you made a very big decision to leave that and sort of take on board the environment. Why did you do that? Why is it so passionate to you? Well it was a number of things. I had got to that certain age for women in an industry that's not, that is very youth oriented and the, I'd gone from playing the, the female lead or being offered those sorts of roles to being offered the roles of the mother of the lead almost overnight <laughs> and I thought is this what uh, uh, you know nearly 30 years in this industry has come to and I also had I was I was living on on oh God, there you go. that's a shock to the system. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, I was living on uh, on a farm I had young children uh, and I was getting closer to the earth and and being concerned about the in the world that my children would inherit and I also felt that I needed to do something else with my brain for the next phase of my life so I went and studied social sciences and uh, luckily fell into Planet Ark. You so. must have seen how the idea of environmentalism kind of ebbs and flows in terms of popularity. Most certainly and it reached its high point in 2007. You were talking uh, earlier about Al Gore when mm. he uh, was touring the world with his Inconvenient Truth uh, film and, and slideshow. Uh, we also had the Stern Review on the economics of doing nothing about climate change and we had the worst drought in, in a century or longer, however you choose to measure it, in mm. Australia. So that was the high point of real concern about the environment in Australia. Sadly, it's ebbed a little since then uh, and there are various reasons about why that may be. But um, we're, we're constantly at work trying to reinforce the notion to people that while one person can't do everything, everybody can do something. Do you think, Rebecca, because our lives are so busy, we're in a turbo-driven world, that we have relationships to deal with, we've got stress, all of those things, that the environment and being green unfortunately got, comes down at the bottom of the list. But ironically, um, if we flipped that around and made it a priority and consumed less, you're saying that we get back to basics and actually become less stressed? Well, I think there's a lot of evidence to suggest that. The whole affluenza uh, movement notion is that we are so high powered, we're so um, consumer driven that we don't have much life left actually to enjoy or to enjoy the things that we worked so hard to accumulate. Mm. I mean, there's this evidence to suggest that most manufactured goods are no longer in use within a year of their having been bought and so we see this enormous uh, use of resources and energy to produce stuff that we use once or twice and then they en it ends up in landfill. Mm. Um, so I think there is a growing awareness that this is no way to live mm. and you see it in um, a g increasing uh, interest in uh, being a green consumer, uh, whether it be the energy you use or the products you use to clean your home all of those sorts of things, green travel, all the things that you're going to be touching on in this show mm. uh, are becoming more and more um, at, at front of mind. And you know, you say that, that, that the environment is falling down the list, but in fact you, you've got to look at the polling and the Greens are polling better than they ever have before, so yeah. they're Rebecca, still at the bottom. But it, yeah. it seems to me that um, if it's too hard people won't get on board. Exactly. So do you think that um, Generally speaking, we're making steps to make it m easier for people to be environmental. That's exactly what Planet Ark is about. Whether it's joining us to plant a tree on National Tree Day, uh, recycling at home. I mean, we we're, we're lead the world in our recycling of many items. So we've really taken on recycling at home uh, as something that we all do for the environment. Um, but it, it, it certainly, I think that there is real evidence that we're we're what Planet Ark is about is making it as easy as possible for people mm. and if it is easy people will get on board. When, when they see the, the magnitude of the problems that we face they think we can't do anything mm. but really mm. uh, all our efforts combined do make a real environmental difference. And it can be quite simple. I was shopping yesterday and I needed some cleaner for my kitchen so I purchased the Planet Ark orange spray and you feel so much better about yourself and the environment when you do that. Are there 
products scattered all throughout supermarkets and little things that people can do like that to include in their groceries each week? More and more. I mean, that, that for example, that, that range of, of orange-based products is made from the peels of oranges and lemons that were previously going into landfills. So it's a, more and more, I think, we're getting to a point where we're having to value resources in a completely different mm. way and think about their whole of life and how we will use them and pr produce new products out of them, which creates a great new market and and cleans your house and makes it smell beautiful at the same time. Totally. There are a few things that we can do. For example, um, purchase environmentally friendly products, um, recycle aluminium cans, use paper wisely to reduce consumption and save resources, reduce your electricity consumption and plant trees. Mm. Just quickly, can you plant a tree anywhere or do you sort of need to know where to put it? Like well, if you go to our website treeday.planetarc.org mm -hmm. you'll find all the details about how to be involved in National Tree Day on Sunday August the 1st and it could be not planting trees, it could be getting involved in your local bush regeneration group mm. because, um, you know, keep the weeds down is as important as planting new trees and maintaining the trees from previous years. But it, we, we encourage people to plant, plant not just natives but natives that are local to their environment sure. so they support local wildlife and they will survive local conditions best. And they fit in. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Please thank Rebecca Gilling. Let's mark this green circle after this message from Pat.